Hi, I'm Steve Etienne and welcome to 75 Days to 60. This is my 75 consecutive day video series that ends the day before I turn 60 years old. It's about me getting refocused and back on track and doing the things that I know that work well so that I can have a happier, healthier, more vibrant, long life. So the other day, a friend of mine says to me, uh, but Steve, don't you get tired of doing the same thing over and over? I go, well, I eat breakfast every day. I uh, tell my wife and kids I love them all the time. I plan my week out every Sunday. That's that's doing the same thing over and over. He goes, no, 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 that's not what I mean. I said, well, what do you mean? Well, he goes, well, exercise-wise, don't you get sick of doing the same thing every day? I said, well, I, that's, that's the same question. <laughs> but I, I don't get sick of doing things every day because I don't do the same thing every day. And I think... I think what we was, he was getting at, we talked about it more at length later, was the, to me, the difference between a routine and a rut. So the habits that you have are important. 40 plus years ago, Dennis Waitley in his program, The Psychology of Winning, talked about the 10 habits of a winner. Uh, today, Brendan Bouchard talks about the six high performance habits, and there have been volumes in the 40 years in between about habits and routines and how to set your life up for success. Well, to me, a routine is something that I do all the time that empowers me or makes me better and supports me. Um, exercise is that. Um, reading, getting up early, planning my weeks, and running my plan is uh, our routines. A rut to me is something that I would do all the time that is disempowering and that does not enhance my life. So every night after dinner, if I plopped my ass in front of the TV for four hours and then went to bed, to me, that would be a rut. So this is 30, 40 years of working on me. And I'll tell you, I have no ruts. I got rid of them all. So I have routines. I get up early. I exercise four, five, six times a, a week. Uh, if I'm not exercising, I still have daily movement. Uh, I am very conscious and routine driven about what I eat. My wife and I have coffee together every morning. Uh, I've journaled since I was 19 years old. And uh, I've listened to audiobooks and audio programs in my car almost exclusively since I've been 25. My car is my traveling university. Now, do I have to drag myself to the gym sometimes? Of course I do. Do I have to drag myself to yoga or to go outside or get some sunshine? Yeah, of course I do. Do I have to drag myself out of bed sometimes when I don't want to get up early in the morning? Yes, of course I do. And I have to exercise whether I want to or not. And honestly, sometimes I don't think it matters whether you like it or not. I mean, what's your goal? How long do you want to live? How happy do you want to be? And how healthy do you want to be? There's lots of research that indicates that exercise is one of the great keys to life expectancy and to quality of life. So I don't even know that it matters that I like to exercise all the time. And honestly, sometimes I don't like it, but I still do it because it is a routine that enhances my life. So my routines help me do that. Uh, my routines actually, and my, my schedule allows for an incredible amount of flexibility and spontaneity. I showed you my schedule. I'm not booked up 24 seven. I love to say no. Uh, I'm the king of saying no to things. So the things that I say yes to, uh, I have flexibility in my schedule that allows for spontaneity and doing things with family and friends or by myself or whatever that just makes my life better. So, um, like I said, I have, I have no ruts. Now, one day, one day it'll be my last day. Now, hopefully that's a long, long time from now. But I refuse to be on my deathbed and going, oh, if only I'd have watched more TV. If only 
I'd have played more video games. If only I'd have spent more time on social media that, you know, to me is meaningless. So that's not going to happen. I absolutely refuse to live my life that way and by everybody else's expectations of what I should be doing with my time. So to my friend and uh, ultimately to everybody watching, uh, well, number one, what routines do you have in your life that work? What routines, call them good habits if you will, what routines do you need to establish to make your life better, to be happier, to be healthier? And then two, what ruts do you have? And I'm going to ask you to get rid of them today. So if you're enjoying watching these and are benefiting from watching, please send the link of the video along to a few other people that you know that can benefit. The purpose of the series all along was so that my words would rub off on me so that I can get back to basics and get back to what I know. And as I approach 60, which is now, I think, 63 or 4 days away, starting to lose count, uh, that, you know, my words rub off on me and it makes me refocus and get better and get back to knowing what I, what know, what I know works. So if you would love to contact me, I'd love to hear from it, uh, strong, from you. Uh, strong after six zero at gmail.com. Well, that's it for me. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, I think I'm going to go to food tomorrow. I think I'm going to cook you breakfast.